We all have uh, recency bias, so our memories are best when it comes to Wolfpack basketball men, Final Four, Wolfpack basketball women, Final Four, College World Series in baseball. But this is really a four-year run at the very least during your tenure at NC State that might be the best four-year run in the history of Wolfpack athletics. How do you boil down the starting point for understanding this dramatic surge? Well, I, I think culture really matters, right, in, in what it is. And, and we've been really good over the years, and, and you've been following NC State for a long time, right? So yeah. we've been really good at, at hiring coaches and five years later bringing in someone else, right? And, and, and you know that repeat cycle, that wash, rinse, repeat wasn't working for us. So, you, you know, a lot of it has to do with that patience that I'm talking about. Let's figure out how do we make sure that our coaches are surrounded? by the right coaches, by the right strength people, by trainers and marketing. And, and, you know, our coaches really, at the end of the day, if they can concentrate on coaching, recruiting, developing, uh, maintaining and, and mentoring, that's a pretty good day for a coach, right? Let us worry about ticket sales. Let us worry about marketing. Let, let our trainers do their jobs, right? And, and make sure that we've got a system set up. But, you know, it, it goes back to our coaches in the leadership that we have there, in the belief that they have um, in NC State as a university, um, in our academic people and everyone across the board buying into one vision. And, and that positivity does matter. I do believe that every day when I wake up, that if you come in with positive attitude, that's gonna spread through everything. But in you know, it's hard not to think back to when we went through COVID Right. And that was a really tough time for, for everyone, like globally. That was a really tough time for everyone. And, you know, we came out of COVID. Uh, we had balanced our budget that year. We started off with a negative $22 million. Uh, we were able to balance the budget through different cuts, through our donors, through our fan base, um, to coaches uh, and everyone in the department taking pay cuts. Right.